What's up guys? Death Note, episode seven. Last time, Light was getting buddy-buddy with the FBI woman, and this time, I hope she doesn't figure it out, but I feel like she will. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's go. Okay. Ah, not starting with this music, come on. At least ease me in, dude. <laughs> this woman, this woman. Regardless of how she came to the conclusion, the fact remains this woman knows the truth. If she gives this information to the police, it won't take them very long to figure out that Kira is actually me. Yeah, dude, no why are you hanging out with her? Something oh, no, don't kill her. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I'm already getting chills. But like the more two I think seconds about in. it, the more your theory makes sense to me. It's so freaky. I'm watching this in Japanese, and I don't know what he does in English, but the gap between him talking in his brain and then all of a sudden him talking to someone else when he's deceiving, his murderer voice and his deceiving voice are so different. Anyway, let's keep watching. We can't waste any time. We need to start investigating it right away. What? Really? Do you mean that? Yes. Hi. So have you told anyone else about? He's like. Like, uh, I, I, I'm apologizing. Uh, uh, and then he's like, I'm gonna murder you. Scary. But also. <laughs> You're lucky, but how will you get rid of her? It's not like you can do it here. Yeah, dude. Well, you have a gift for stating the obvious, Ryuk. Uh, aren't you bold? Let's get started. Could you please tell me the date and time of the bus jacking incident? It was December 20th, in front of Asagao Hill, at 11.02 a.m., bound for Spaceland. December 20th, and they were on their way to Spaceland. Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Make sure it's suicide. I, I'll just read the English. Commit suicide in such a way that nobody will be inconvenienced and her body will not be discovered. No, but like that's so genius. He doesn't even have to do the work. He's just lazy. He's just like, yeah, just in a way that, you know, doesn't bother anyone. And that's something something that no one would expect. Like he doesn't even need to know details about her. He just says that. Like, dude, <sighs> this guy's the limit. <laughs> oh, this laugh. This way, no one will find her body. And even if they do, they'll just assume that the death of her fiance drove her to commit suicide. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny to you? <laughs> oh, is that not allowed in the book or something? So that's everything. I'd Wait. like to report this incident to my father, if it's okay with you, that is. Well, if it's all the same, I think I'd like to report it myself. And after talking to you, I've decided that it would be best to do it as soon as possible. Uh, that makes sense. Just 10 seconds until 1.15. I have to admit, I'd really love to see how she dies. Ah, but I can't no! be caught following her around. Ah, his eyes! Go on. <laughs> Hurry to your death. Huh? Kira will definitely be caught. Don't you think? Uh-huh. What's going on? It should have happened already. Wait, he wanted her to commit suicide? This doesn't make sense. In the I don't understand why she's not leaving. I've had no problems making people kill themselves in the past. All I had to do was write the word suicide. The criminals I tested it on all hung themselves exactly when I specified. My experiments indicate that in a situation like this, I should be able to control a person's actions. Oh, so no. what's wrong? <laughs> Dude, spill! What? Does she know? He laughed just like that when I was writing in the death note. And that's not all. I remember thinking it was bizarre how he laughed when I asked for her name. In fact, he's reacted the same way every time her name comes up. An alias? Oh! Wait, 
Wait, I feel like that that was like an overreaction on my part. Like, duh, how did I not think of that? This woman is just so scary. Oh my God. I, she has to know. I'm like racking my brain. Is there any way between that second when Ray Pemba saw light and could have had her known? Or did she already do her investigations and she knows? Like, bro, bro. I just want to stay here with Elle. I don't want to go back to Light's world. I don't want to know. Ah, no. She used an alias. That has to be it. Ryuk knew all along. He could see her real oh, name with his eyes. That's why he wouldn't stop And he laughing. doesn't help I her. I mean, She's he doesn't help him. She's cautious from the beginning. I see. It makes a lot of sense. She believes that Ray died because he showed his ID to Kira. So, of course, she'd be careful not to reveal her own identity. Oh, this is That's good. Right. It's going to be almost impossible to ask for her real name knowing she gave me an alias the first oh, time. Oh, yeah. If I'm too persistent, she'll get suspicious. Yeah. What am I saying? It looks suspicious that I even knew she was using an alias. I should probably be getting back soon. Mm -hmm. Someone from the task force might be back there by now. Oh, yeah. You could be right. Let's cross our fingers and hope someone's there. Yeah. The music doesn't Damn happen. it. I'm running out of options here. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her I go. have to stop this before it's too late. No. Oh, no. What if my father calls back now? I already promised her that I'd let her talk to him if he did. If this phone rings, it's all over for me. What am I going to do? Turn it off. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, why are you this panicking, dude? All I have to do is turn I... my cell phone off. <laughs> I can't handle solved. that. You need to be calm for me to be calm. You know what needs to be done? Just find out her real name. Her purse, her pockets. She's got to have a driver's license or some kind of personal identification on her somewhere. She's a woman after all. Okay. I suppose if I had to, I could use force. No. No, the last thing I want to do is make a scene in public. I've got to get I her somewhere you isolated. Suggested that. But where? What explanation could I give her? It would never work. She's too careful. I need a better approach. I can do this. I'm going to convince her to give me her real name. <laughs> hey, Light. You know, that deal I mentioned is still open. It's just like putting on contact lenses. Completely painless. Would I be willing to give up half my life just so I could learn this woman's real name? Fair. Oh my no. god, is that... In fact, it's not even worth considering. Now quit wasting my time. Just shut your mouth, Shinigami. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, do you still have business at the police station then? I'd like to go there by myself, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for everything you've done, Light. After talking to you, I feel much more confident about my theory. Not at all. Jeez. Is it that you think it's him? Considering that Ryuk mentioned that ideal again, there's no doubt in my mind that she used an alias. At this rate, once she goes to the police with her theory about Kira being on that bus, and they look at all the people Ray Pember was investigating, it won't take them long to zero in on me. <laughs> hey, she's leaving. So now what? What you gonna do? I've got about five minutes before that woman gets to police headquarters. Think, I need her real name. I don't have much time to spare. <sighs> a god of death has no obligation to completely explain how to use the no or rules which will apply to the human who owns it. Which is exactly what Yuka's doing. Why is he just sitting back like, asshole, help. Actually, what am I saying? I'm being like, asshole, help a murder, a murder. Maybe not. Well, I don't know, man. No, I just want the game to keep going, but it's... It's at what risk? At what risk? At what cost? At a human's life? It's messed up. If this woman makes it to the police station and someone Why is he still following her? Then, Stop! It'll all be over for me. Oh my gosh, my pits. I've got to find out her real name, <laughs> then eliminate her quickly. Only three minutes left until she reaches the station. All right. Uh, oh, what you doing? Excuse me. Yes? There's something that I should probably tell you. Okay. The thing is, it'll be impossible for you to contact anyone from the task force directly. Huh? 
That's right. Keep the conversation going. I just need to find something that she can latch onto, and I've got her. Once she's comfortable, then I can get her real name. I can do this. I can't contact anyone, but why not? Didn't you find it odd that there was no one at Task Force Headquarters? Uh, yeah, I did find it a bit strange, but I didn't... Let me explain. The task force has been organized so that its members can't be identified and nobody on the outside knows who's in charge. <laughs> if the members' names were ever made public or the structure of the task force was revealed, we'd likely see another tragedy along the lines of the one that claimed your fiancé's life. <laughs> I see. That's oh. why you were told earlier that no one was at task force headquarters. What I'm trying to say is, you'll never be able to talk to someone directly from the task force because the police simply won't allow it. She don't look convinced! <laughs> That's pretty clever. I'm impressed. If this is supposed to be a secret, then how do you know so much? Guess I spoke too soon. Yeah, no, I don't like it! <laughs> Very well. You leave me no choice. It's because I'm actually a member of the task force. <gasps> I'm sorry, you're telling me that you're an agent? Yes. Oh. L is currently in charge of the task force, and he's leading our investigation. Yes. To be honest, I already suspected that. He went there. He was concerned that the task force had become too small. Many detectives had quit fearing for their lives, and so... Despite the fact that I'm a high school student, he brought me on board to help out with the investigation. After all, I've helped them solve cases in the past. So, L trusts you, then? I can go to Task Force Headquarters whenever it suits me, and I'm allowed to investigate freely as I see fit. You see, these days the Task Force is made up of a chosen few, an elite group of people handpicked for the job by L. All are highly skilled, well-respected, and above all, trustworthy. Oh, sure eyes are changing. <laughs> I hate his laugh. Ugh. Thanks for explaining, but just to be safe, I'd like to try and visit the task force headquarters no! again. No! Right. Oh, no! 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 Uh, no! Please, wait a second. No! It's no! like I just told you. It's they over. won't let you talk to anyone. It's over. I know, but oh. I was hoping I could speak with Elle directly. Is someone watching? Oh, and come to think of it, who's at the police station right now? Actually, no one's there at the moment. That's not good news. We need someone there at all times. Work in shifts if you have to. I understand. Aizawa, I'll put you in charge of that for today. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Won't take me long. Miss Maki, please, wait a second. It's literally impossible to meet Elle. Oh my this god, no, pointless. dude! Now, now you're sus. Now we're just sus. You may be right but I think that there's a chance that he'll meet with me. Uh -huh. Although the only contact I've had with him was following orders through a computer, he might remember who I am. You see, I worked under him in a case in the U.S. about two years ago. Uh, are you serious? You worked under L? Yes, I didn't tell you this, but up until three months ago, I worked as an FBI agent. <sighs> this is it. Finally something I can use. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. In fact, I noticed early on that your investigative skills were far beyond those of an amateur. You're very cautious, and you seem to have a gift for getting to the heart of the matter. If I could, I'd like to learn from you. <laughs> One lie after another, you make it look easy. From the beginning, I knew I had to do things outside the regular channels, because from my perspective, both the police and the members of the task force were suspects. But I'm certain that I can trust Elle. Maybe it's unrealistic, but I think that if I go to headquarters and I give them my name, there's a chance that they'll let me speak with him directly. I see. But if the only person you could trust with this info was Elle, then why me? I suppose I was upset that they wouldn't allow me to see anyone from the task force, and then you came along claiming to be the son of the lead detective, and... No, that's not it. I... Hmm? I'll be honest with you. <gasps> it's because... You remind me of Elle. There's something about you that's just like him. Ho <laughs> ho! Will you investigate this case with me? Huh? I want you to come work with us as part of the task force. We could use your help. As I'm sure you know, not just anyone can do it. Please, I know this is sudden, but the team needs people like you. 
I'm serious. You could be doing so much more than gathering information on your own. You have all the experience as an FBI agent. You're more talented than most of the detectives currently on the task force, and L obviously trusted you in the past. It wouldn't be that difficult for you to join. All you'd need is some valid identification, a recommendation from a current task force member, and of course, you need to get L's permission. You want me to join the task force? I can't help but think that it must be fate that I met you today. I'd like to be the one to recommend you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I guess I got a little bit too excited. It's okay. I mean, even if you acted as a consultant on this investigation, it would be a great help. I'm sure you have personal obligations to attend to, not to mention the fact that you live in the United States. It's true. Before all this happened, I thought I'd continue living in America with my fiancé. We planned on getting married in the spring. But now he's gone, so I'm not sure what to do anymore. All right, I've come this far. All she needs is a little encouragement. But you're young and beautiful, and you've got your life ahead of you. Why put it all in danger for this? No! Now that Ray's gone, I've got nothing to lose anymore. I want to catch Kira. I don't care about anything else. It's all I want to do. Please let me investigate this case with you. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, of course. I just need to see some form of identification the freaking before red. you proceed. <laughs> oh, um... Yes? You see the name I gave you earlier? Well, it wasn't actually my real name. Act surprised, bitch! I'm so sorry. Oh. Don't worry, it's alright. To be honest, I'm impressed by how incredibly thorough you've been. You've stayed one step ahead of me, <laughs> but I suppose that's just further proof of your capabilities. So will a Japanese Shut driver's up. license do the trick? Uh, sure. Master manipulator! What the? No! No, she's gonna stab him! Oh no, okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Snow? I'd be like, ah, oh, kirei desu ne. I made it in time. Huh? He just happened to not see because of his umbrella? Uh, so, if you don't mind my asking, why do you keep checking your watch? Oh, well... I guess it's because... I feel like she's gonna stab him. Because I'm Kira. <gasps> cell phone might be available now. Do you want to see if you can talk to him? No, thank you. I have nothing to say to him. Then goodbye, Naomi Misura. was when the whole world turned red and started shaking and you see Duku laughing. Like that was already so freaky. And then, and then seeing his eyes shift and saying, because I'm Kira, like, bro. And then to top it off, like I was already at a high there. To top it off, her face, that expression of defeat, of being like, oh. I got chills. 
I got chills. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, if you like watching me freak out, be sure to like and subscribe the video and check out the next episode right here because I'm sure I'll just be freaking out more and more until I can't sleep. <laughs>